Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. That someone's gonna threaten me on Instagram saying that they're gonna call lawyers and try to sue me. There's no way that you're gonna do that, man. I don't care how famous or popular you are. This is that came from Allah and he could take it away from you as well if you're not using it right. Sometimes your parents are bullying you. Sometimes your parents are emotionally blackmailing you, stopping you from getting things done. Because they have power, they have the ability to control you in some type of way and people in power will abuse that power. Life as Q, keeping it a hundred. I got bullied into taking down my video, my content because of a famous YouTuber. Now I have zero intention of saying the name of this YouTuber, but I'm pretty sure some of you are going to be putting pieces together um, about who this could be, or who this isn't, or who this might be, or whatever it might be. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to let you know that bullying is not okay. You cannot flex the fact that, you know, you are a bigger YouTuber or have the ability to call lawyers trying to sue you, try to handle it in different ways. I'm, I'm going to get into that in just a minute, but just a few announcements before we continue. If you would like to skip past this, no hard feelings, follow the timestamps, move on, but the real ones are going to watch, okay? Uh, first announcement is that the Uyghur... A uh, social experiment is happening this Saturday, inshallah. I'm going to be filming it this Saturday. That means it's going to be uploaded on Sunday. So instead of a face-to-face uh, -face uploaded video on Sunday, be ready. Sunday is going to be the Uyghur social experiment. It's going to be absolutely uh, dope. And um, I guess that's the only uh, announcement. You know the merch is coming soon. Dawa Man Podcast is going to be out on Tuesday. You already know. Let's jump into this video because I have a lot to say and there's a lot on my mind right now. Um, Yesterday, I received a, uh, a, a DM from a family member of a famous YouTuber. And in that DM, I don't feel like they were being, you know, quote unquote, disrespectful to me and how they said things. They said some things that I didn't agree to, obviously. But essentially, it was a flex on me to take down the content, remove the content. Why? Not because I'm disrespectful to someone, but because the person who it's about or whatever doesn't like the content. Let me be clear with anyone out there. I am free to use anyone's name however I choose to use it. The reason I make any video is to inspire you guys and to give a positive message to you guys. Go through any of my videos, any of them. You're gonna find a positive message that is not just for the person I might be talking to, but for all of you guys who are watching and listening out there as well too. That's the purpose of my videos. My goal of why I started this YouTube channel is to help people discover and develop their own Islamic identities. I don't wanna put one in you. I believe that you all have an Islamic identity within you that I'm trying my best to help you unearth, right? So imagine your Islamic identity is like a fossil and you know we're excavating that Islamic identity. You all have one. I'm not trying to force mine on to you, I want you to take your own Islamic identity and develop it, beautify it, perfect it. That's what my goal is of this entire thing. To make you guys uh, feel proud about your religion, feel important, and to feel proud about being a Muslim, man. That's the entire purpose of this. Will I use a popular topic to get that point across? I absolutely will. I'm not a big time YouTuber. I don't have the marketing dollars that other YouTubers have. I don't have that type of market or viewership that other viewers have. So if I'm putting someone's name in my video, just know that the video, 20% is gonna be about that, 80% is gonna be a message to you all on how you guys can benefit from this video overall. And believe me, the comment section doesn't lie. You guys are benefiting, you guys are you know, experiencing goodness from these videos and you guys are enjoying these daily videos. So I have no question or problems with that. But if you think that you're gonna come and DM me and flex on me and try to, you know, like uh, pull out that Trump card or that ace card of saying that, you know, I'm gonna get lawyers involved, you, you must be mistaking me for someone else, man. You must be mistaking me for someone else. You're not gonna be bullying me into making content or being afraid to make a content. Imagine me thinking, having to think twice about making this video because I don't wanna upset anyone. My goal is never to upset anyone out there. And the fact that someone feels upset about it is being super defensive and insecure about, the, uh, about, about their entire situation. Do you know how many times the messenger saw someone was bullied by Quraysh? For what? For him to stop preaching his message. Bullying is not new. Bullying is always taking place. Pharaoh bullied Musa alayhi salam. 
Pharaoh bully Musa alayhi when he came to the court to trying to explain to Pharaoh about the words of Allah, about the message of Islam. Pharaoh was like, you're going to explain to me after you did you know what? He's not even going to say the deed of the accidental murder that Musa alayhi committed. He's like, he's going to say, you're trying to explain to me after you did that? How many of us have a past? How many of us have a past where we're afraid to talk about something, we're afraid to move on with our lives? Why? Because someone has some dirt on us. Someone has something about us that we're afraid that would be revealed. True story, this sister were, uh, messaged me on Instagram yesterday. Why? Because of my video that I made about how I talked about this girl and how my entire, right here, you can click that video right here. It's a good video for you to watch. It's, it's designed to get in the minds of a player and what's going on in their mind and how people should not be, you know, I don't want anyone to be harmed by other players in the world. So this is supposed to give them some type of education. This sister messages me because of, you know, uh, a, a husband situation that they've divorced. You know, but he's very controlling and he was abusive. That's why they divorced, you know, but he still maintains a little fist on her. His foot is still on her on her neck. Why? Oh, don't get too cocky, girl, because I got these pictures of you that I can reveal about you anytime. That has her all shook. Bullying, cyberbullying, emotionally blackmailing someone. This isn't new. This isn't new. And I'm here to let you know that if someone is doing that to you, they shouldn't let, you shouldn't let them escape with this. They should be reported. They should be filed for some type of com uh, police complaint, some restraining order. Why not? But don't think for a second that cyberbullying and all these types of, you know, bullying should be allowed. People used to bully the messenger, Sallallahu What did he do? What did they bully him at? Huh? Muhammad, Sallallahu If you don't stop preaching this message, we're going to boycott you. What did they do? They boycotted the Muslims for years to come. They boycotted the Muslims that since you're going to keep preaching this message, Muhammad Sallallahu since you're going to keep doing this, oh Muhammad Sallallahu we're going to boycott you. In Mecca, they were instructed to not buy, shop, or marry the Muslims. If they were from the family, leave them alone. They were boycotted. Imagine that emotional blackmail that they're doing to him. And the messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stayed true to his mission. Look at the time at Taif. No, excuse me. Uh, 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 even in Taif, why not? He got bullied out of there. He got stoned out of there. Why? Because he's preaching a message that others don't want to hear. Same thing is happening now. What happened to the Treaty of Hudaybiyah? Same thing. Muslims are going there to perform a peaceful uh, a, a, a pilgrim, pilgrimage. But they didn't want that to happen. They bullied them. They stopped them. Bullying and stopping these things, this is not a new thing. Those who are in power will always try to flex their power, guys. And this doesn't have to be non-Muslims. Sometimes your parents are bullying you. Sometimes your parents are emotionally blackmailing you, stopping you from getting things done. Because they have power, they have the ability to control you in some type of way, and people in power will abuse that power. That's what they do. But it is our responsibility to trust in Allah and ask ourselves, am I doing something haram? Am I doing something wrong? Am I doing something that displeases Allah? If the answer is no, then it doesn't matter who bullies you, doesn't matter who tries to extort you, doesn't matter someone who tries to, you know, like, do something to harm you, it doesn't matter. Why? Because you're staying true to your faith. You're staying true to your morals. You're staying true to your, your, your own mission. Do you know how many times uh, masjids had tried to bully me and to be like, brother, you can't come in here if you're wearing a snapback. Okay, bye. Go try to find someone new to speak. I know what I can offer. And this is not be, me being arrogant or, or anything like that. I know who I am. I know I have the ability from the will of Allah, from the gift that He's given me to coach people and change people's lives. But not everybody wants my coaching. And that's a, that's a pill that I have to swallow. But I know the impact that I can have. Give me an hour with the person, I can help them change their lives around. Give me a few moments with the person, I can help them change their lives around. Tell me that's not true. Tell, I know who I am. I know what I'm capable of doing. And that's not arrogant of me. That's me being confident in my abilities that Allah has blessed me with. I've refined my tools, guys. You don't know off camera what I'm doing. You think this is what I do all day? You think that this is it? I'm a father. You guys know this. I bring my children in. I got a, I got a life. I have a life. I'm a, you think that this is how I make money? I'm a school teacher. For God's sakes, I'm a school teacher. My student just emailed me. My student just emailed me. Why? Apologizing. Because this is what the student said. She said, Mr. SQ, you helped me on this math thing once upon a time. But I went and I didn't treat you well. Mr. SQ, during this quarantine, I realized that I was wrong. I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna show you another message. Here's another message from a YouTube comment. Someone leaving me a comment saying that, you know, before I would judge you, so on and so forth, but the more I started watching you, the more I started loving your content. I'm sorry for what I've done. I got this DM over here. Hey, SQ, I'm sorry that I was doing this, 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 this with you. I'm really, really sorry about that. I judge you. Now I'm watching your content. I love it. I'm sorry about judging you. Please forgive me. I've forgiven you. You cannot, I cannot be in a place of power and start bullying these people, start extorting them. I'm gonna I'm expose you. Oh, you see this? I'm gonna expose you. No. If you wanna hate on someone, you wanna do something, do you. If your parents are bullying you, emotionally blackmailing you to control you, to, uh, you know, uh, study something, which I'm gonna make a separate video about. This is just, you know, letting you know. Your parents are trying to control you emotionally, backmail you from you know, studying something, marrying someone of your choice. That is wrong. And you need to step up and stand up for yourself. And if, if you can't do it, there should be people such as myself voicing for those who can't be, be heard. You know what I mean? This is what this platform is for. It's supposed to be a microphone for those who are oppressed, those who are you know, not given their, you know, their dues. But if you think that you're gonna try to come over here and flex on me and try to scare me with getting a lawyer, take me to court, do something stupid like that, get family members involved to do that, you got something else coming to you, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not those people that you can push around like that. I'm not. This channel is to inspire you guys to stand up for yourself. Never look how many times Muslims are oppressed today. I went to Palestine. Went to Palestine, Masjid Aqsa. Empty. You can go, you know how in your local masjid, you know, if you're like five or ten minutes, like, 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 you know, like, if you're like five minutes, uh, you know, early before salah, like, is about to stand, you might not be able to get a front, uh, stand, a spot in the front. You get what I mean by that? Like, you might not be able to get the first stuff just because it's like that. For Mecca and Medina, you gotta be there like maybe an hour, an hour and a half to get that first stuff type of vibes in front of the Kaaba or in, in, in Masjid Nabubi, right? In Masjid Aqsa, the Salah could be going in place. They've said, Allahu Akbar, you can sneak up to the front. That's the condition over there. Why? Because they've been propaganda to bully the Muslims to not come over there. You don't want to go to Palestine. They're going to hold you. They're going to stop you. They're going to make sure that you can't get into the country. They've bullied you psychologically to not want to go to Masjid Aqsa. If anyone's ever been to Masjid Aqsa, tell me in the comment section below. Tell me I'm not lying. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. It's one of the most peaceful masjids you'll ever go to. It's a mix of the spirituality that you get at the Kaaba mixed with the tranquility at Medina without the rush. They've psychologically bullied Muslims to not go to Palestine. Why? Because that's our land. How is it that it's the third most, third most spiritual, highest place for a pilgrimage of, of some type of uh, religious value to Muslims and we're not even going there. They've psychologically bullied us from standing up for our own land because the reason Zionists have occupied that is because Muslims have not occupied it. The weaker Muslims who are over there trying their best to fight and they have, they can't even pray in their own masjid because they need cards to get in there. They've been so oppressed that they've given up to some degree, but even now they fight still to this day. But we have not occupied the lands. The reason the Zionists are occupying the lands is because Muslims are not occupying the lands. You're telling me if daily thousands of Muslims at the same level that people are going from Umrah go to Aqsa, they're going to be able to quarantine you and stop you and hold you in those offices. They couldn't. That's why the Muslim voice has gotten weaker because we're not sticking together. We allow those two who bully us to allow us to continue to bully us. I have a life, guys. I do this for the sake of Allah. These videos are not easy to make every day, but I do it for the sake of Allah. I respond to every comment, not because it's for the algorithm, because I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys messaging me and commenting and stuff like that. This is the least I could do. Some of you love that quality about me, but I'm a father. I brought my kids to the park and I'm making this video as well. I'm letting you know that you cannot allow people to bully you. You can't allow those who are in power. Some of sometimes the bullies are our bosses. Why? Because they know they can do that to you. Stand up to them. I'm standing up to my bosses. They're trying to not give me Juma off. Please, I'll quit before you, you take away my Juma. I'll quit before you do that. I'll find a different school to before you take away my Juma. I'm not afraid. My provider is Allah. 
When we know that we only rely on Allah, no one can hold us down. That's why they don't want us to do this, guys. When we submit and own that Allah is our master, all of a sudden no one has power and control over us. But Allah is my master. He's your master. There's no way that someone's going to bully you. There's no way that someone's going to threaten me on Instagram saying that they're going to call lawyers and try to sue me. There's no way that you're going to do that, man. I don't care how famous or popular you are. This is that came from Allah. Allah, and he could take it away from you as well if you're not using it right but don't think for a second that you're gonna try to oppress me or other smaller youtubers or you're gonna oppress people by flexing your skills or something like that on me or or, or your or 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 your strength on me, please. That's not gonna happen to me. May Allah bless you. I'm here to advise. I'm here to uplift you. I know I can help you. I want to help you. I'm literally willing to help you. People know that I can help you, but if you want the help, may Allah bless you. I'm here whenever you need me. I got your back, but do not think for a second you're gonna try to bully me, son. Don't ever think that you're gonna try to bully me or my family or anyone or my livelihood. You're never gonna try to do that. You're not gonna get away with that. You're not gonna get away with that at all. And I want you guys to know this as well too. If anyone is bullying you in your life, controlling you in your life, if someone is doing such a thing in your life, it is you and I who've empowered them. Wallahi, we have to take ownership on this. I'm not trying to victim blame. I'm not trying to do anything like that. But it is you and I who have given people the power, the power to bully us. And you're going to see that on the Tuesday podcast as well. That there was some bullying. There was some rudeness happening. And I called it out. And the problem didn't get resolved until I took a different approach. And you're going to see it in the video. And I would love your feedback on that as well. Wait till you watch it. That's why I got heated. That's why I got heated because I wasn't letting anyone bully me. But towards the end, I realized that, hey, I got to change my approach. If I want to influence someone, I got to change my approach. And you're going to see it in the Tuesday podcast. Stay tuned to that. But this is a message to all you out there. Do not allow anyone to bully you. Do not allow anyone to, to because they have some dirt on you or something, to bully you. No way. If you've repented from something, you've repented from that. You're a different person right now. Sure, you might have to pay for what you have done in the past. Sure, you might have to face those consequences. Sure, your past might come up against you. That's normal. That might be Allah's way of atoning you for this dunya so that you're forgiven in the hereafter. And you've already been forgiven. And you might have to pay for this in this dunya. But Allah is our master. Don't ever allow anyone to think that they can control you because they can't control you. They cannot control you. So don't allow any anyone to ever flex on you don't allow anyone who has some power to think that they can't oppress you put their leg on you whether that be your parents and I don't mean that as in disrespectful to your parents but you know what I mean there's certain parents who think that they can emotionally blackmail you and control you to do whatever they want you to do because they're gonna use ayahs of the Quran to do that to justify their arguments but that is wrong and you and I both know that is wrong so take this message for what it is it was still a positive message I hope you gain benefit from it guys I love you all for the sake of Allah and um, yeah, there's some other videos if you want to watch it. Stay tuned for that new social experiment that's coming around. But I'm going to do me no matter what happens, guys. I'm going to keep making these videos every single day. No matter who tries to bully me. No matter what you try to say in the comment section. I'm going to do me. Because I love this. I love making these videos. And I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I love all you guys as well too. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, I'm out.